Good morning, everybody. Um, welcome back to Boney Baits and Fishing Breaks. Um, welcome to Lake Number Five, one of my favorite lakes, uh, South Pond, which also goes by the name. I'm gonna butcher this. Uh, Quacum Cusset. Um, so we're here. Uh, water level is horrendously low. Um, a lot of weeds. Uh, there was a big storm that kind of blew blew in a few days ago. So I don't know if that's going to make it make a difference or have an effect. Um, I'm hoping it doesn't. But so anyway, uh, we're here. We're traveling kind of on the light side. So. Um, I got a creature bait hooked up, which is what I'm going to start with, and I got the bony bait stick worm, so we'll, uh, throw that around, um, we got, oh god that stinks, a tube, that's pretty much it, so, there's a lot of weeds, and, uh, I don't know, we'll just take it step by step, and, uh, hopefully we'll catch some fish. If anybody knows of um, like fish finders or depth finders for like little John boats, let me know because um, I'm looking to get one for, for this boat. Oof. Salad. <clears throat> I mean, I'd appreciate it if it didn't. I don't make this up right. I think there's a fish on here. Uh, yeah, there is. Maybe? No? Give him some bony baits. Bony baits.
Bony baits, bony baits. So, a couple of uh, bony baits updates. That was a hit. Um, a new color came out. I just posted that on my uh, Facebook page. And um, it's called Tapenade. It's a jerk bait. So, you can get those at uh, bonybaits.com. I'll leave a link in the description. Um, also, there's going to be a new bait coming out that I'm going to sell. Um, it's the... Actually, I'm not going to tell you. I'll make it a surprise. But uh, it's actually a really, really, really good summer, late August lure to use. So, be on the lookout for that. It's kind of it. kind of busy so I haven't been posting a video in a while Smells like fish. <laughs> la 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 la. It is nice out here though. I will say that. There we go. Ooh, feels good. Uh, feels like a pickerel. Ooh, nope. Nice bass. Nice bass. Nice large mouth. Come on. There we go. That's a two pounder. about a pound and a half but we'll send him send him on his way bye bye one
That was on the uh, the Boney Bates Holiday Pumpkin color. Stick worm. That's always good. Here we go. Here's another one. Took my bait. That felt little too. That was a little one. We're gonna try a new color. Holiday, no, not holiday, uh, horseshoe crab. Look at that puppy. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh. Something kissing it, probably a perch. Oh, that color looks so good. Oh, did you see that? Did he take it? He's got it, he's got it. Oh, that was funny. That was, that was little. Probably wasn't even a bass, but it was funny. Oh, this this is though. Nope, maybe not. Here we go. Nope. Weed. I love this lake for a reason, because it's fun. There we go. Oh, little guy. Little one. Oh, he was stinky. The heck you eat, bad buddy. There's a, I don't know if you can see it, but there's an eagle up in that tree. God, that's cool. I wants to steal my catch. Looking for his breakfast. One thing I really like about this boat is that it's super buoyant. You can handle these waves very well. Um, it's probably the best $500 I've ever spent. So if you're looking to get one of these kind of boats, I highly recommend it. Not only that, um, you can pretty much fish anywhere. You can fish like the normal large lakes, which is what I'm doing. Or you can, uh, you know, you could fit this thing on small ponds where bigger boats can't can't make it. So, yeah, I think they, they did go up in price a little bit, but again. Extremely good investment. Oh God, look, look at that bird. Oh, he flew away. He flew away. That's so cool. See now, on days like today, bluebird skies, calm um you want to find some some grass 
um, some form of weed because the fish are gonna go that way. That way. There we go. Uh, oh, that was a kiva. Wow. I can't believe I hooked that. Um, yeah, so as I was saying, they're gonna go into that deep weeds and uh, they're gonna chill out there because it's cooler and um, it oxygenates the water. So you want to find some weed because in the heat, the water actually loses oxygen. So the warmer the water gets, the less oxygen there is. So you want a nice, cool, cool climate for them. And that's where they're going to be. Well, they should be at least. Under any sort of structure, because there's a shade, so it'll keep them nice and cool. Fish are very temperamental. When it comes to weather, so make sure you're watching your weather patterns, because that's very important. I'm gonna try something. But I don't know how deep it is over here. A deep dive and crank, how deep does it go? Oh, only 8 to 12 feet. Well, seems to do okay to me. If it's sunny and windy, you wanna. Oh, was that a fish? No. Nope. Um, give this a whirl. It, sometimes it wakes them up. vegetables. Oh, this is perfect stickworm territory right here. Perfect. There's actually a, a few people out here. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, da -dee 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 -dee. Come on, fish. What'd you do, like, shut off on me? I gotta keep track of the time. Oh, it's not even 10 o'clock. <laughs> 